Okay, in this part of the example, we're going to use SPSS to uh, look at measures of association for interval ratio variables. And specifically, we're going to look at a scatter diagram, a covariance, and a correlation. And we're going to use the uh, General Social Survey 2012 data set. And we're going to look at the relationship between education and father's education. So let's start by making a uh, scatter diagram. If we go to Graphs, Legacy Dialogues, and then scatter dot. We can just click on simple scatter and click define. And I have to choose our independent and dependent variables, or our x and, and y axis. And so if we take education and make that our, in the, our dependent variable, we can put that on the y axis. And then on our uh, x axis, we put our independent variable, father's education. And we just click on titles and we'll add our title information and our source information. And so I'm going to make this figure one uh, scatter plot of education by father's education. And then I can just put my source information, GSS 2012. And I can put my total number of cases in the analysis. And uh, I happen to know that it's 1,439 cases. So I can click Continue. Uh, I can click OK. And SPSS creates a scatter diagram showing the relationship between father's education and respondent's education. And so we can just kind of look at the trend and see what's, what's kind of happening in the data. Uh, we can see that basically. As response education is increasing, so is father's education. So as we have larger values of father's education, we have increasing values of response education, indicating that this is a positive relationship. And we can see that we can probably uh, use kind of a, a line to fit the relationship between these two variables. And it looks like a line would fit pretty well. So this is probably like a moderate to strong relationship. But in order to see how strong that relationship is, we really have to look at some formal statistics to see how strong that relationship is. And so if we go to analyze, correlate, bivariate, we can create a correlation coefficient and a covariance. So if we just click on uh, options, uh, use exclude cases list wise instead of pairwise, and then make sure there's a check mark next to cross product deviations and covariances because this will give us the covariance and this will basically uh, look at each combination of cases only using a, a, a sample of cases that have complete data on both variables. So if we click continue here and we can just type in our variables, uh, education is one of them, I'll just highlight that and move that over. And the other one, of course, is PA education or father's education. So we're going to move that over here. Make sure there's a check mark next to Pearson. That's our correlation coefficient. So we'll click OK. And SPSS will basically create the statistics for us. And so here's the numbers that we want to look at. So we, here we have the co covariance of the father's education and the response education. And here we have the correlation coefficient between father's education and response education. So if we kind of zoom in a little bit, uh, we see that the covariance here is equal to 6.104. And so that's a positive number indicating, again, like we saw in the scatter diagram, as we increase response education, we're also increasing the father's education, vice versa. And we see that we uh, have also a positive correlation coefficient. Now, the covariance here uh, it doesn't have a meaningful interpretation because it's not a unit-free measure. But the standardized version of the covariance, the correlation coefficient here, uh, shows us that we have a value of about 0.461. And so that tells us that we have kind of a moderate to, to uh, slightly weak relationship, although it's it's pretty much in the middle. So I would just call this a moderate relationship, and it's positive, meaning that as we increase father's education, we're also increasing response education. And so that's exactly what we saw from the scatter diagram. Now, unfortunately, uh, PSPP, I can't seem to find a way to do these analysis in PSPP. So uh, my suggestion is to use SPSS to do these particular analysis. Um, I think it's better set up for this kind of uh, statistical analysis. And so it's really the better choice in this case.